Morning everybody, Chad Adler Farms. This thing is cool. Still looking at it. You guys know on my channel and my dad's, we don't just take anything out of the box and throw up a review or thoughts on it or whatever. I want to use it for a little bit, make sure I like it, make sure it works. Easy boys, easy, easy. As soon as I have an actual opinion on it, I'll share it with you guys. I will go ahead and link it down below in case anybody wants to take a peek at it. Also, one of the number one questions we get is what fly spray do we use? Uh, it's what they carry at the local big box. So, look at those flies. Hey, Wiz. Look at those guys. Let's turn this fence off so we can jump in there with them and make sure they're uh, covered a little better. If you guys are new here, my mom and dad have a channel. It's always linked down below. The other day I tightened this fence and that top string was about 36 inches, but it had sagged to about 34 just because it stretches and all that. And the other day I didn't tell my dad I tightened it. I just didn't think anything of it. Well, dad never turns the fence off. He just hops over it. Yeah, he didn't realize that top string was a couple inches higher. And he straddled that fence and then he found out. Seriously? This is how we're gonna do this this morning. This is how we're gonna do this. We will be discontinuing this fly spray as we get closer to their processing date. Easy, see when he lowers his head, that's what I don't like. Not that he's, he's not gonna charge me like a bull. You stink, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you're fine. Just testy. You just showed me the side I need, though. There you go. Thank you for that. Can we be friends today? Hmm? I lost my train of thought, but we will be... Yeah. We will be uh, discontinuing this fly spray as we get closer to processing, so that way we don't eat fly spray. These guys are food. The only animals on the farm that are not food... Well, if we're talking like end-of-world scenario... Everybody but Smokey is food. If we're talking just what I'm raising on my farm, the goats are edible. And I'm pretty sure my friends over at Hidden Heights can give me some good recipes. Let's turn their fence back on before they figure it out. Beautiful morning. It's already 8.45. I'm a little bit late getting out here this morning. That's why everybody's so noisy. It's 8.45 and it's 72 degrees. What do you think, buddy? You want another flower in your hair? You need a flower? Mm -hmm. Such a stinker. He is massive, man. He's massive. And we still get asked because we have a lot of new people here. So I like to mention it. This is an Angus Holstein cross from a giant dairy farm an hour north of here called Emerald Dairies. You can look it up. Hundreds of head of cattle, hundreds and hundreds of acres but I do believe that's why they look so good. Everybody talks about how shiny they are. I think it's just good genetics. I mean, obviously that huge farm is gonna have good genes on their farm. It's pretty cool. He's getting really tall. Super excited. I've raised my own beef for the first time in my life. I've bought a half a beef before and man, it's just good stuff. It's just real good stuff. Some of you guys though are gonna be like, I cannot believe you raised those steers on pasture and then you're using that beef for guess what? Hamburger helper. That's right. I'm one of three boys and we're all less than four years apart. Like my, my middle brother and I are exactly two years to the day. And then my youngest brother and I are like three years and eight months apart. All really close. So we grew, we grew up on hamburger helper and anything else mom could make in bulk and make quick. And uh, plus going back to that thing about learning to cook, you know, junior high, learning how to make hamburger helper and do things like that's, that's what we did. Let's take a little look-see here though. There's your brand, Turbo Ant. This is the T1. Let's have the fat tire, which is good for off-road, front and back. And like I said, I've wanted one of these for a long time. So I was really happy when they reached out thinking cool there's a bunch of fancy modes and things i don't understand i gotta be honest let's see if we can take you guys on a ride 
on the bike over to Wilma without falling on our faces. This is all electric, super quiet. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. That's super cool. Hey, we're looking at the ground. You guys dizzy yet? But here's your throttle. It's just like a motorcycle. Now it's not the full handle. I've only had one motorcycle in my life, a little Honda Shadow, but that's your throttle. That makes you go There's different levels and intervals and things like that. There's your battery power. And then this is your actual battery. The sun might be too bright to show. Nope, there you go. So you press that and you can see how charged it is and all that good stuff. But anyway, riding with one hand, haven't done this since I was a kid, trying not to fall. Usually I'm having to compete with the noise of the four wheeler, but this is pretty slick. Other than it's a little bumpy. It does have adjustable shocks. Hang on, turning with one hand. You guys might see a big kid fall hard. If I fall, I'll leave it, I promise. It does have adjustable shocks. And I think we need to make them a little stiffer for big boy. Hang on, we're gonna wind up in the trees if I don't pay attention here. Oh man, this thing's cool. What in the world? That's hilarious. Did that make you mad? I've never seen him do that before. That's funny. Oh yeah, the bike kind of trips him out. Well, that's kind of spooky. <laughs> yeah, there. They are really curious about this bike. That is funny. Wilma! What you think, lady? Whoa, Wilma, whoa, 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 whoa. Man down, hang on. I dig it. That's my new favorite toy. What? What do you mean? It holds me just fine, Nancy. Just fine. Feed the pigs and the grass. Not so much worried about teaching her to forage. It's just getting her to eat in a different spot. What in the world? Quit telling them that we race, okay? I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind some thin, lean bacon. That's why I don't mind her running. But the beefy boys? Quit that running stuff. There you go. It's all right. That's all right. I know I snuck up on you. It's all right. It's a good pig. I think they just like these cooler temperatures. Or they're planning a coup. I don't really know. Adler's not here this morning, so they might be. They might be trying to see how far they can push me. Hasta luego. We'll see you later. I really need to read the instructions. I did not do that. It's so quiet. I can't even tell you guys the stuff my brothers and I used to do on our bikes. On the pavement, on hills that were like straight up and straight down. No hands, eyes closed. Oh my goodness, if we'd have fallen. Uh, we'd still be laying there if we'd have fallen at the speeds we were going. Where I see a lot of guys using these bikes is like what I was talking about. If you don't want like automobile, like gas powered or diesel, I guess for that matter, emissions in your fields, that's perfect. It's pretty cool. Hey, get in there, chickens. Get in there, chickens. Uh oh, tree. Bagworms. Hang on, time out. Ow. <laughs> It's me, it's me, it's it's me, Nancy. That's her middle name is Nancy. What's up, Pig Pig? Slacking, walking through spider webs. Nancy, no. Ah, bless ya. 
Whoa. Dead it, man. Look at that. Where's he at? I promise that's a spider and we're gonna pretend he's huge. It won't focus on him, he's so small. Lola! Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. We can sing to these guys. Let's eat some grass today. Oh, look. They are, actually. So we've been throwing the seed. Seed. We've been throwing the feed in the grass here. And they've really been crunching it. Because... Because they want that feed. I'm sure my fence around here is good. Popping, yes, there's a paper bag down here. Blown into the fence, or I should say a bag of them. Hey, I've been looking for you. That's hysterical. Not really. Grandma's gonna be mad. She bought me that for Father's Day. See how hot you're running. Oh, baby. That's pretty good considering we haven't weed eaten or done anything in a long time. <laughs> Doggone it. Man, I think it's in my beard. How am I looking? I don't like spiders. We need to get Lola in here because the hog drinker, which Lola's not actually a fan of this hog drinker. I really want Miss Lola in here. She would love this grass. She certainly earned it. Oh man, I don't want to go under here. No, yuck. See that seam? Just leaking right there. It just drives me nuggets, man. We don't know why. I need to put more water in there because right now it's like, it's as full as the inlet. So it kind of like, it can't leak if that makes sense. But Tartar did send me the seal that goes around this, I showed you guys in the last video, or I showed you the box, but I need to fix it and mess with it again, take these screws off and all that. So we'll figure it out. But it's working, like it's holding water. It's just this tiny little leak now. So I just don't know if it just didn't get set right. Maybe this thing's bent. How's this look, by the way? Does this look good? We toured Tartar. We went to Dunville, Kentucky. They rolled out the red carpet for us. It was stinking awesome. We went into the warehouse where they make all their steel products, or I should say the feeders and stock tanks and things like that. Holy cow. It's impressive. My guess is this thing got bent in shipping and maybe just the force or the weight of the pigs is like caused it to happen because Tartar straps it down. They strap everything down to a pallet and they ship them usually in like threes or fives. There's some number for the whatever. I'm not, I'm not telling you what Tartar told me or what I saw, but everything they ship me, they got to do it in like threes or fives or sixes. Once Tartar packages it up, it's kind of out of their control what happens. They use an independent shipping company, a good one, a reputable one, but you guys know as well as I do, just like anything you ship in the mail, every driver is different. So I don't know. I just think maybe something happened in the shipping. So, cause it worked for a long time. We also, dad propped it up with some boards so it would like lean back that way it doesn't fill as quickly and it's not going to stand a chance when the pigs mess this up and get it all lower it's not going to be leaning forward causing it to run out because that is one thing people run into so let's get out of here though i just saw a spider listen i'm gonna introduce y'all to the pig across the road she's been with me a long time she's kind of my favorite i know y'all are pretty you're also pretty stinking expensive but Lola's my favorite. So, when she comes over here, y'all are gonna have to be real nice. And Leia, I know you're a big girl, but old Lola over there, she ain't gonna sweat on you. Ain't gonna happen. You give her the what for, I got a feeling she'll run you right out of the pasture. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't talk about it much, just because privacy and things, but there's a real uppity subdivision over there. Like you gotta know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody in order to ring a doorbell. Most of the people that live over there have never touched a cow, goat, farm dog. I mean, they probably thought I was crazy when Smokey stayed out here all winter. So it's pretty funny when they drive by, they're always like real slow. Like, what's he got back there? 
So we used to live over there, so I can say whatever I want about it. Oh, I beat you guys. I beat you. I beat you. I beat you today. I did. I did. I beat you both. I did. What you think about that, Batman? What you think about that, buddy? He is looking better. We didn't... Sorry, buddy. There's nothing in there. We didn't show it on camera, but he, like, had licked himself raw down in the groin section. And... I don't know. You guys tell me. I know I'm opening myself up for comments. Now, he's healed now. He's healed. There's nothing wrong with him. The little hairless, furless marks you see. We doused those in blue coat. For obvious reasons, we didn't show where he licked himself raw just because of the location of where he licked himself raw. Kind of interesting. But he's healed now. I can't figure out what was going on. And a lot of people said lice or fleas or ticks. If he had lice or fleas or ticks, wouldn't they all have it? Wouldn't, I mean, my chickens even, everybody would have it. I can't imagine, how does one goat that lives with two others get that ailment? Maybe it's possible. I don't know. But you're my favorite. You're a good dog. Grandpa said in his video, he calls you the wall. Even though there's a fence, you're the wall. And you're a pretty wall. You're a real good pretty wall. Yes. Yes. Hey, look at my teeth, though. I'm ferocious. Look. All right, all right, all right. You guys help me out. How many roosters? Well, they're all kind of spread out here. How many roosters do you see? How many hens do you see? I know it's kind of hard to tell. So Batman is still going to our friend's farm. He is gonna move. Nothing personal. But the weeds are essentially gone. I don't need... I don't need three goats through the winter. You'll like it there. Don't worry about it. All right, boys and girls. Man. That dude is getting big. He's getting big quick. He still don't have much to strut about. I bet old Red can keep him in check. Before Mr. G comes and gets him, we may have to move him to another pen. I just worry about Adler coming in here and, you know, he's a young Jake and he's just trying to figure out what he's doing. He's not an established Tom, you know, he's not, he's not mean per se. He's just trying to figure out if he's in charge or not. He's pretty though. Man, he's got some big legs already. But you gotta watch him. So, Storm Cloud. There we go. Shouldn't be any eggs today. <laughs> yep. She still got your number there, big boy. I kid you not, she just protected me from him. He was just turning around. He wasn't coming at me. That is so strange. We might need to get old Jake out of there for his own safety. I don't think Red likes him walking around flexing. No, I can't put you in there, sorry. That'd be like a handicap match. That wouldn't be very fair to the birdies. Another project we got going on is, it's officially muggy. I'm sorry if there's sweat in my beard. I can't check it every five seconds. We gotta get this guinea out of here. There he is actually. But the chickens won't use the coop because the guinea's in the coop. So that's not good. And I've got a net down here somewhere. That guinea has officially bullied his way into the coop and he won't let any chickens in there. That's why I think they weren't laying. I think they were getting stressed out. Holy cow. I missed one. There's a turkey egg. Let's get this net. I can't believe there's an egg over here. I don't know what turkey's laying it, 
but there's a turkey egg. Can't be a, oh boy, I barely fit back here. Hang on, oh, tight squeeze, oh boy. That thing's huge. <laughs> Are you serious? I know it's yours, hang on. You know what she did? She wasn't barking for this egg. I mean, she was, but she associates the eggs with treats for doing a good job, which she does do a real good job. I think she was barking like, hey, I'm still defending the fort. Give me my egg. All right, just how you like it. Raw. No, we can't eat the shell. Eat that egg for me. Can you eat it? Grandpa said you ain't been eating it. Let's see it. Chickens will eat the shell. Starting the egg laying song. Ready? All right, well, I was gonna wait until she jumped up in the box, but it's already been 12 minutes, even though I didn't show you guys that. And I got, I got things to do, places to be. Man, I have no idea why our fences lean in. We're gonna see if this works here. Y'all still hear that chicken? She ain't even in the box yet. Hey, get in there and run that guinea out for me. Huh? Run that guinea out. That guinea's got to move on. Hopefully that's smarter than the guinea. I don't, come on now, I ain't gonna fit in there. Come on out now. Where's my net? You guys watch that guinea's gonna bolt straight forward because it don't like the goats. I'd love for it to go inside the blue deal. That would be ideal. Turn it, Batman. Turn it. Turn that guinea, brother. Oh. Well, now it's on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're going to witness something here. He's going to come right back. Hang on. This is safety. There we go. That a kid. The way you catch a guinea is you make yourselves real skinny. And I like my eyeballs right where they are. Don't commit my eyeballs, okay? I'm gonna take you to my house, where right down the road, there's a 100 acre farm and they got a bunch of y'all. But if you take out my eyeballs, I will eat you. I will, I will eat you right on the spot. Yep. Easy. This ain't Din Din. Hang on. All right, big boy. Get in there. Woo. Get out of there. Come on, come on us. Hey, oh. Dude, I don't think you're gonna fit through there, bro. No way. Oh, geez. See what you did now? You too, Tontina. Get out of there. Come on, I'm gonna have to grab you and drag you out. Yep, I can't fit in there. Oh my goodness, goats are nuts. Hey, we got we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Come on. Oh, Billy. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Jump out. Vamanos. Outski. Bye, man. No, no. Boy, he hit me. I need, I need to jam my finger. Come on. Come 
Next year when I got weeds, I'm just gonna buy a weed eater. That's what I'm gonna do. Y'all are nuts. You guys hear that chicken? Still has not laid an egg. Lay it or let it go. No, 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 that's your brother. That's your brother, man. Ew, ew, no. Okay, I can't show that on the tube. I have no words for what I just witnessed. Let me have it. I'm gonna set this guinea over here since you brought the bike. That way when I leave, whoop, when I leave, I can just stop by with the truck and pick up the guinea. So we got this little holding area right here and it does have a direct line to this pasture where we want Lola ultimately. So I may be able to, will Lola fit into that? Yeah, she will. I can move the electrical ones easy. It's barbed wire is what I'm worried about. But the reason I'm gonna do that is because these panels open right into this. So all I gotta do is make a path from Lola to here. My knife is back at the house. Let's run get it and see if we can get Miss Lola in that pen. Apparently you're supposed to charge this thing when you first unbox it. Yeah, I, I, I skipped that part. We are cruising at a pretty good click though. I still gotta get my big body up this hill. Watch this, watch this thing work for it. Come on. Now you can pedal to assist it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. I dig that thing, man. Super cool, super fun. Everybody stares at you. I'm not gonna say they're expensive, but they're not in everybody's budget. I understand that. And you guys know me. I try and show things that if you wanted one of these, it's in a good price range, it's a good company. I looked them up, I've seen all the videos that they have that are out there. Now there's some companies out there with more expensive bikes. There's a company out there with a less expensive bike. And then there's a company out there with a really expensive bike. And the only thing I noticed is that some of them are more expensive because of the sticker and the name. Some of them are more expensive because the battery is bigger. That makes sense. Some of them are more expensive because maybe the LED is bigger. Like some of them have it right here. It's a little, you know, I believe this is LCD, liquid crystal display. Some of them are actually LED, like a small TV almost. But again, that, that screen should not make it that much more expensive. I mean, your phone, that the technology to make those little screens has been there for a long time now. Um, I reached out to those companies. I was offered a bike by one of them, but it was almost twice the price of this one. Battery was the same size. The display was a little bit different, but again, that's where it gets me. I just, the, the display, it just don't do it for me. I don't think that's enough to justify that cost. Because honestly, if you're buying a bike for the display, you should probably keep your eyes on the road. There you go. She's charging. Just out of curiosity, is there an indicator on here? Nope, you can't even turn it on when it's charging. Which is probably best because that means you can't drive off with your bike. I mean, you could technically pedal away because it is manual or assisted electric, but you couldn't just rip out of there on electric mode and tear your charger out of the wall, so that's good. I'm interested to see how long that runs, but right now we're gonna go see if we can get Miss Lola in that new pen. Mm. <clears throat> I forgot Smokey's treat this morning. I just brought it to her. I was holding it in this hand. I just licked my fingers for some silly reason. Guess I won't have joint problems. I want to see how big Lola is compared to Leia, because Leia is huge. And it doesn't always do her justice standing by Han. That's right. Honestly, chickens look big next to Han. Poor guy. You know, we really don't want to take these down because probably in December, maybe January, 
Han will be ready to breed. Yeah, I heard myself say it. We hope Han will be ready at some point and big enough. Ugh. Yes, see. Hopefully Han will be ready. I don't know. He's not stunted, he's growing, he's just young. If and when they're ready to breed, I still want these two pins for farrowing setups. Let me cut some zip ties and see what I can figure out here. All right, so here's an update. Lola's a smart pig, she knows something's up. But I made an alley right here into the old pin where Batman was and where Leia and Han were. To this right here. This Lola, honey. It's time to move. Boy, you's a big girl. Boy, you's a big girl. Yeah. Can you come with me? You're gonna need some food for bribes. Again, again he's living. There you go. I've mentioned it on the channel before, but Lola was raised in a hot wire, with a hot wire. And she spent part of her life on the farm in a hot wire. So I'm not worried about that. Let's get over here and move these up while those other two are distracted. That is one massive pig. Hey, pig, 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 pig. Boy, I tell you what, Leia better be real careful. Come on. Come on. Lola is a very experienced pig. She's been moved half a dozen times, different pastures, different farms. She's no slouch. She's a, she was a year old in May. She's every bit of, she gotta be 300 pounds. I don't wanna get too far away from this barbed wire because when she gets over here, I'm gonna pull it up so it doesn't get her on the back. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. What is she eating? Oh, she's eating goat food. Good grief. Come on, pig, pig. Come on, pig, pig. I know, I'm gonna give you this whole scoop. Come on, let's go. Let's go that way. Let's go that way, come on. Yep, yep. Lola. Ah, ah. You can go, it's all right. Oh my goodness, you're stout. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Doggone it. Whew. Let's go. <laughs> oh, she goes in there. I'm toast. Wait, wait, whoop, whoop. Just flat out too smart. Second, I'm gonna grab. Well, what can I grab? You're no help, brother. No help. Tripod's over there on the fence. So, you guys just get the POV view. Look out, look out. She'll plumb knock this thing out of my hands. This trash can lid, she don't care. Let's go, hip. Come on, hip. You just snapped at me. You did it again. Come on, hip, hip. She'll go right through me. Okay. Hip, hip. Dude. Good girl. Oh, watch your back, watch your back. All right, good job. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Put the camera down. Woo. So today's Wednesday, the 18th. So now the question is, do I post on social media that Lola's in the new spot? Or do I make y'all wait? Because if I post it, you guys will know what tomorrow's video is about. Or today's, I guess, technically. I think I'm gonna make y'all wait. 
But I will tell you one thing, like I've mentioned, I've got a second channel called Adler Farms Shorts. Here's the logo. I go live every other Tuesday or Thursday. There's no set schedule, I apologize, because it's just, I've got things on Tuesdays or Thursdays every other week, so I gotta make sure I'm free. And tomorrow at like 7.30, I'm gonna be live the day you guys are watching this. So if you're watching this and you didn't see the live, you already missed it, got me? In my lives, I will have told everybody, my live show, I will have told everybody already that Lola has moved. That's why you need to go sub to that second channel. Man, I'm so excited for you. Are you happy? I told you some good stuff over here. These IPPs don't know how good they have it, huh? Yeah. Wait till you meet them. One of them you could fit in your pocket. The other one, well, I hope y'all get along. I know, right? I know. Look at all this stuff. Here, let me get that out of your way. Not that it was in your way. This is where those big old beefy boys used to be. Yep, the ones that go moo. That's where they used to be. It's all their mess. What is that? Is that a sock or? Nope, oh, that's, a, that's a DT. That's a DT. That's a dried turd, Lola. That's what that is. Don't eat that. Listen, I got more things to do, but I need to be here when you meet your new roommates. Because I don't know how they are, but I know how you are. Holy cow. Hey, that's a tomato. That's a tomato. There was a, there was tomatoes on that, Lola. It's, it's gone now. Look at this. What is that? What in the world are those? What are those? So, anyway, she's gonna continue munching. I'm gonna see if I can run. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can run the lovebirds over here. There's somebody in your pen y'all need to meet before I can go, and I got stuff to do. So what's the deal? Can we move you? Can we move pig pig? Pig pig pig. Yeah, see there's barely anything there. Come on. Come on, huh? Let's go meet your girlfriend. I'm just touching them with my foot, guys. I'm not swinging at them. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Don't spin on me, don't spin on me. Let's go, I'm gonna hip, 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 hip. Lola, these two are still just standing here chowing down. So I'm hoping this is like a pecking order. So Lola and Han were nose to nose for a while when she was farrowing. So they've seen each other. But Leia and Lola have not. But when I picked Han up and moved him in here months and months ago when Lola still had piglets, Lola threw a huge hissy fit because she looked at Han like one of hers. So we'll see what happens. I talked to another guy that's got pigs and asked him about when he puts his together. And he said, if they'll eat together, they'll stay together. But he said, spread it out so it's not a competition until the end, just like it always is. Like, you know, when pigs, they'll, they'll eat and meet in the middle and confront each other. But she is, I didn't realize how big she is. I'm gonna stay on this side of the wire. But neither one of them is afraid of the other. And I have not thrown any food in there yet. I don't wanna encourage the competition. I 
I really think Lola's just letting her know that it does not matter how big Leia thinks she is. She's not in charge. And that's okay. But Lola's got like 13 months on her. So, but yeah, now we got two girls fighting over the stud that couldn't care less. She can go down there and cool off. I'm probably trying to establish that's her wallow. Yeah, see, Lola's gonna come find the water. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna back up. Because the two of them together is 500 pounds of pig. I had no idea Leia was this big. In my opinion, Lola loves a good wallow. In my opinion, what's going on is Lola is just letting Leia know that whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. And it doesn't matter what Layla thinks is hers. It's now Lola's if she wants it. I think you proved your point. Yuck. Ew. Don't take offense, but that's nasty. We're gonna see how this goes. I have a much different respect for people who actually raise guineas now. If you had a guinea in a goat farm, you have the patience of Job. I've reached a point where I'm comfortable with Lola is in charge. And I know her temperament well enough to know that she's not gonna start any fights, but she'll sure enough finish one. She just got shocked. Barely felt it though. Pigs honestly are different than cattle. Cattle don't like it. It makes them uncomfortable from what I've noticed. Pigs, it's just like an inconvenience. <laughs> but if they don't want to stay wherever, they'll, they'll run right through that wire. But that's why you gotta have enough room for a pig. Hey, can I leave y'all alone now? You guys just hang out? I gotta run some errands. Take care of some stuff. You behave. I know you gotta let her know you're in charge, but don't be Marge in charge. Just be Lola in charge. Be a sweet pig. Let her know you're the boss. And then take it easy. Yep. Oh yeah, you should show her your patented belly flop. You should show her your patented belly flop. Yep, that's what you should do. I think she would appreciate that. She would appreciate that. And then show her the roll. Show her the roll. Get it, get it, get it. What do you think? What did you do? Isn't that crazy looking? Yes. Who do I look like? I don't need grandma. I look like grandma? You do. <laughs> Dude, that is weird. It's like trying to cover my whole neck though. Like look what it's doing. It's giving me like one of them uh, WWE wrestler necks. Yeah. That's crazy. Why does it do that? Because of my beard? Well, yeah, it, it like, when it says no beard, I think it just means like only the face. It doesn't mean like, you know. Mm -hmm. And see, I have a huge dimple in my chin, so it doesn't, it doesn't recognize that. I know, you don't even look real. When I do this, no, it's still not it. My chin sticks out further than that. I know it does. I remember it does. It's been a long time since I've seen my chin. Oh, man. Mm-hmm.
I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I, I don't know either. You don't like that one? No. Oh, oh we both got out. it. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Santa before he went gray. Look, there we go. Oh. Oh, man. Nope. I mean, look at these things, though. What? Look at the, look, look. Does it bounce? No. It's bouncing. No, it really does. Dude, whoa. Did it work? No, your filter came off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Thanks for hanging out. I'll never shave my beard. God bless. Deuces. See ya. Deuces. That's so weird. You know what's cool? <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.